What's in this thing? Today we have the XFX Radeon HD 4870X2. Released in late 2008, the HD 4870X2 combined two R700 XT graphics processing chips onto the same PCB. Each chip has access to 1GB of GDDR5, giving a total of 2GB, more than any other consumer card on the market that year. And as always, we're going to take it apart and see what's inside it. Let's start by removing some screws. First the large ones on the bottom of the card, followed by the two on the PCI slot cover and then the lone screw on the top of the card. Now we can remove the screws from the two X shaped clamps and finally separate the heatsink and shroud from the PCB. Now we have the bare PCB exposed, we can see the two R700 chips surrounded by a graphics RAM with the PCI bridge in the center. A couple of thermal pads have stuck to the card, so let's remove them and then clean off the compound from the GPU and give the rest of the PCB a clean. With the PCB clean, now let's look at the backplate, heatsink and shroud. First the black plate, you can see the thermal pads plus the model and serial stickers. Next the heatsink and shroud, the thermal pads are still there. Let's remove the screws and have a further look. The card is a blower style design with a single fan at the rear of the card. After removing the fan, we can give the aluminium frame a clean and turn our attention to the plastic shroud and heat sinks. As you can see, there are two separate heat sinks for each of the GPU chips. Let's give the heat sinks a clean and then finish up by cleaning the shroud. With everything cleaned, we can start to reassemble. First, the copper heat sinks back into the shroud and the aluminium plate over the top with the screws holding it down. We need to apply new thermal compound to both of the chips. Now the PCB can be placed back onto the heat sink and shroud followed by the two X-shaped clamps, backplate and its accompanying screws. With those tightened up, the card is reassembled and ready to go. 